Hi, I'm Ben McSheffrey, and I'm the Technical Training Manager for Simmons Industries. And I'm excited to talk to you today about our new push pop, no, not that one, our new push pop lavatory drain assembly. Now, the push pop drain concept is a bit of a change from the traditional lift rod pop up drain assembly, but it's a vast improvement for a number of reasons. From a user standpoint, it's easier to use and it's ADA compliant for operation because it requires less than five pounds of force to operate and there's no lift rod knob, so anyone can use it. Push down, the stopper closes. Push down again, the stopper pops up. And the push pop has an integrated strainer that lifts out, so it's easier to clean too. From an installer standpoint, it's super easy to install because there's no annoying lift rod or linkages that jam up, break, or corrode. One thing we haven't changed with this new push pop design is the quality. In true Simmons tradition, the push pop is made of brass, bronze, and stainless steel for durability and corrosion resistance. And it's available in four elegant finishes, brushed bronze, chrome, matte black, and satin nickel. Let's take a quick look at the tools and supplies needed, and then we'll run through the installation process. For supplies, we'll only need a couple of things. Plumber's putty or silicone, depending on your sink material, and a small piece of sandpaper or emery cloth. For tools, you'll just need a good pair of plumbing pliers that are large enough to grip the drain nut and some rags or paper towels. Let's take a quick look at the push pop assembly. From top to bottom, we have the push pop stopper and the drain assembly, the clear beveled rubber washer, white poly washer, and the large brass nut, and the flange tailpiece with the rubber top washer and the threaded chrome nut. As always, before we get into installing the push pop, it's a good idea to check the sink drain outlet to make sure the surface is clean, smooth, and dry. This is true whether you're installing the push pop on a new sink or if you're installing it on an existing sink to replace an old pop-up from a previous faucet. The first thing you'll want to do is clean up the drain surfaces of the sink. And this is true for new sinks and existing sinks. New sinks may have dust, debris, or a sharp edge on the outlet from when the sink was cast or molded and existing sinks may have sealant, putty, or remnants of the old pop-up gasket left behind. A light pass with that piece of sandpaper usually takes care of all that, followed by a quick wipe with a clean rag. As we've mentioned in other installation videos, the first thing you'll need to know before you start is what type of sealant to use on the drain collar inside the sink. Plumber's putty is the most common, but some stone materials and cultured marble sinks may stain or negatively react with putty so the manufacturer may suggest a good quality silicone caulking instead. Check the sink's installation instructions and go with whatever they recommend. If there are no instructions and the sink is anything other than porcelain, a good bead of silicone caulking is the safer route. First, lift out the push pop stopper and set it aside. We'll use it near the very end of this installation. Unscrew the chrome nut and set the nut, washer, and flange tailpiece aside for now. Unscrew the large brass nut and remove the white poly washer and the clear beveled washer. Next, put a bead of putty or silicone on the underside of the drain collar and insert it into the sink drain hole. From underneath, pull down on the assembly to seat the sealant inside the sink and keep light downward pressure on the assembly. Put the beveled washer, poly washer, and brass nut back on the assembly in the reverse order that you removed them. Check how the drain collar is sitting in the sink and if everything looks good, use the pliers to snug up the brass nut. Tighten until it's firmly seated, but don't over tighten it. You just want to make sure the drain is secure and doesn't move. Get it snug and then just give it one more quarter turn. Go easy. Remove the excess putty or silicone that's squeezed out inside the sink. You'll need paper towels for the silicone, but you can just remove the putty with just your fingers. Now you can spin on the flange tailpiece. Make sure the rubber top washer is seated on top of the tailpiece. Slide the nut over the tailpiece and tighten it up. That's it under here. Let's go back up on top. Remember that push pop stopper that you set aside earlier? Well, now we're going to install it. And it's a bit tricky, so watch closely. Now, I'm not sure everyone got that. Let's see it again in slow motion. It really is just that easy. And the stopper has a stainless steel strainer to keep your drains from clogging or your jewelry from dropping into the abyss. Just lift it out, clean it off, and drop it back in. Test your installation by pushing the stopper down. Fill the sink and check for leaks. Then push down on the push pop to drain the sink and check for leaks again. And that's it, the new Simmons push pop lavatory drain. Easy to use, easy to install, and easy to clean. And that's all for me today. I'm Ben McSheffrey and I'm popping out of here. That's it, four different edits and that's the best we got. Whatever. If you have any questions related to the installation of this or any Simmons product, 
do not hesitate to call our technical support team at 1-800-SIMMONS. On behalf of the entire team at Simmons, thanks and have a great day.